Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this video we're going to show you one of the five projects that you see here and this is to introduce you to all five so if you don't um, if you're not watching one of these make sure that you watch all of them and these are quick and easy projects that I designed for Father's Day and they'd also work great for um, football season as you can see here so this hat was created with Premier's um, Deborah Norville yarn which is hundred percent wool and this is called Wool Naturals. And this hat is actually written in four different sizes. So you can go really small all the way. I think you'll um, find a size to fit everybody. Um, so that's a nice warm hat to create. And this is just like uh, three double crochets and then you're skipping one and then going back and uh, doing an X stitch. But we'll go to close up and show you how to make all of these. The other thing is a beer cozy. This would also fit on a can. And this is um, got the little football decoration on it. And I think it looked cute too, done in different colors. This was worked in Premier's Deborah Norville Everyday Yarn, which is a great worsted weight number four yarn. And that's what you see right here. And then we did a football coaster. And this was really super quick to make and easy. And we used the Macromade yarn by Premier also. Then we have a football hat and this we made with a Wool East Thick and Quick yarn which is a number six super bulky yarn from Lion Brand. And this comes in 50 plus colors and um, this brown is perfect for a football hat. So this hat also is really really quick and super easy, great for a beginner to make. And the sizes come in four sizes again so every you can make a hat for everybody. And then lastly, we have this little banner and I thought this was cute to tie them all together. And you just make this with the Deborah Norville Serenity Chunky Yarn, which is a number five, I think it's number five or number six weight yarn. And so it works up really quick. You just do the single crochet solid background and then you just chain the letters using the um, two strands of Deborah Norville Everyday Yarn. And then you make a cute little heart with a single strand of red in this yarn. So anyway, um, we're gonna go to close up now and Christina is actually gonna show you how to make these projects. And I wanna thank you very much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and shop with us at maggiescrochet.com. The links to everything are listed below and now we're gonna go to a close up. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Maggie'sCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this football hat. Uh, it's really cute. You'll need, of course, dark brown and some white for this. Uh, I've used here and I will be using in the video. Uh, this is Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick. As you can see, it is thick. Because it is thick, it will work up pretty quick. Um, I've chosen to use white with a little bit of sparkle in it, but you could certainly use plain white if uh, your fella or you don't want uh, any sparkle there. So to begin, the first two rows of this hat are the same no matter what size you would like it to be. We do have four different sizes. Um, they vary slightly but they're all fairly similar. I'm going to be showing you the small hat today um, but the instructions for medium, large, and extra large are in the pattern as well. Regardless of what size you're doing, you'll start with chain four and then we're going to join with a slip stitch to form a ring. So you'll take your hook, insert it into the first chain stitch, the one closest to your slip knot, grab a loop, bring it through, pull that same loop through the loop already on your hook, and you've got a little ring we can work into now. So once you've got that, chain one, then we're going to work 12 double crochets into this ring. So you'll yarn over insert down into the ring, pull a loop through, you've got three loops on your hook at this point, pull a loop through two, pull a loop through two. So there I've got two, I need to do ten more. So I'll work on that and once I've got those ready I'll come back and show you round two. Once you've got your twelve double crochet stitches you can join your round together. To do that you'll just go in the top of the first double crochet pull loop through, pull that loop through the loop already on your hook. Alright, so there's 12 double crochets. 
around two, chain one, and then we're going to work two double crochets in each double crochet from the previous round. So at the end of round one we had 12, at the end of round two we should have 24 double crochets. So our circle is just going to get bigger and bigger. So I'm going to go around, finish doing all these double crochets, two per stitch of the previous round, and I'll come back when I'm ready to move on. So at the end of round two, you've got 24 double crochet stitches, and you can just join uh, to the first double crochet of that round. Now for the small size, which I'm making today, uh, if you're not making the small size, you'll have another row or two of uh, increasing before you start working straight. But for the small size, um, we'll start working straight, which means we'll just do one double crochet per stitch around. Um, however, it's time to switch to the white. Now your instructions are going to say finish off your main color, which is the brown here. Uh, and then work the white for one row and then join back in the brown. Personally, I really don't like weaving in ends, um, so I, I try to leave as few ends as possible. So if you want, you can do what I'm about to do. Uh, I've got one double crochet left, so I'm going to start that double crochet. I've got my three loops on my hook, pull through two, but instead of pulling the brown through the last two loops, if I go ahead and pick up my white here, and pull that through there, and then join to the first double crochet with the white. Then I've joined that beautifully. You will never see the difference. And now my brown's back here and I'm ready to pick that up whenever I get, when I finish uh, this round and I'm ready for the brown again. So that's how I personally prefer to do it. If you would rather um, work in your ends, you know, go ahead and finish off the brown here, join the white, and do it that way. By all means, that's an absolutely valid way to do it. I just prefer to have as few ends as possible. So like I said, for the small hat round three, you're just going to work one double crochet per stitch around. At the end of this round, you will want to finish off the white because we're not going to come back to it for a while. And then you'll pick up your brown and work that for a couple of rows. Then do one final white row, one final brown row. All your other sizes of hats are going to increase before uh, you start working straight like this. So just follow the directions there. And once you finish whatever size hat you're working on, you'll want to take some of your white yarn and a large, large, large yarn needle and just do the little football stitching um, uh, on your hat. And that's the little finishing touch there. That's what's what makes it really cute. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and you will find the pattern and the materials you need down in the description. Thanks for watching. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that. 